Come on, Cap. Come on. Yes, you're quite right. I should be getting on with all those letters to the children. <laughs> Tea. I must finish this letter to young Winifred. You know, if I write Winifred that a certain gentleman with a very long tail, and it has to be said, quite magnificent whiskers, is no longer in residence at the farm. I do feel I ought to make her a present of the whole cautionary tale of Mr. Samuel Whiskers. Once upon a time, there was an old cat called Mrs. Tabitha Twitchit, who was an anxious parent. She used to lose her kittens continually. Kittens? <laughs> Tabitha Twitchit had three kittens, Tom and his sisters Moppet and Mittens. Kittens, where are you? They were always in mischief. everywhere for you. And there you stay, my two young rascals, until my baking is finished. She caught Moppet and Mittens, but she could not find Tom. Tom did not want to be shut up in a cupboard. When he saw his mother was going to bake, he determined to hide. He looked about him for a convenient place and fixed upon the chimney. Now, Tom, I know you're in here. Now come out at once. Oh, Tom, I shall never get my baking done. <coughs> Rather smoky here. I cannot go back. <coughs> and if I slip, I might fall in the fire and singe my beautiful tail and my little blue jacket. Tom. 
Tom made up his mind to climb right to the top, get out on the slates, and try to catch sparrows. Tom? Oh, do come out, Tom. It's all right. I can still hear Mother upstairs looking for Tom. So if we're really quiet, and Mother hasn't actually locked it in, so... Shall we make dear little muffins? Oh, do let's. Tabitha? Are you at home, Tabitha? Oh, there you are, cousin. I was just about to begin my baking when I saw that I'd completely run out of yeast. <laughs> and I wondered if... Why, whatever is the matter? Come in, come in, Cousin Libby, and, and sit you down. Oh, gracious. Oh, I'm in sad trouble. Oh, Cousin Libby. Dear, dear me. I've lost my dear son, Thomas. Oh! And I'm afraid the rats have got him. <gasps> He's a bad kitten, Cousin Tabitha. Oh, he made a cat's I'm... cradle of my best bonnet last time I came to tea. Where have you looked for him? All over the house. The rats are too many for me. Oh, what a thing it is to have an unruly family. Well, I'm not afraid of rats. Oh, no. I'll help you find him and whip him too. What is all that soot in the fender? Oh, the chimney needs sweeping oh. and... Cousin Ribby. Now what? Now Muppet and Mittens have gone too. Oh. Oh, oh. oh I... Well, Cousin, we shan't find them standing here. Just where would a naughty little kitten hide? <gasps> mm? I do. This seems funny. Who's been gnawing at bones up here in the chimney? Oh, I wish I never come. What a peculiar smell. <laughs> It's something like a mouse, only dreadfully strong. It makes me sneeze. Lift the candle a little, my dear. I'll just... Yes, it is infested with rats. Ooh. I caught seven young ones out of one hole in the back kitchen. Mm -hmm. And we had them for dinner last Saturday. Well, he's definitely not in there. And once I saw the old father rat. Oh, yes. He was enormous, <laughs> Cousin Rebby. I was just going to jump on him when he showed his energy. That man was down the hole. Yeah. What do you mean by tumbling into my bed, all covered with smuts? Please, uh, the chimney wants sweeping. Anna Maria! Anna Maria! Oh, what have we here? A tasty morsel indeed, Samuel. I think I'll just restrain him a little. Right. Oh, oh, keep still. There. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Anna Maria. Oh. Anna Maria. Make me a kitten dumpling roly poly pudding for my dinner. Hmm. It requires dough and a pat of butter and a rolling pin. No, no, no. Make it properly, Anna Maria, with breadcrumbs. Nonsense! Butter and dough! Oh, very well. Have it your way, but I'm perfectly satisfied with breadcrumbs. I can't possibly manage the rolling pin. It's all very well for you. Well, I utterly fail to see your objection. kitten for his age. Um. Oh, well. Now, one remaining requirement. Uh, up here, if my memory serves me. Arranges the dose so. <laughs> I'm afraid, Cousin Tabitha, that we've made a most thorough search and not a a whisker of that young rascal have we found. And I was so sure he was somewhere in the house. But now I wonder. Tabitha, listen. What? Shh. How very curious. Oh, it's most strange. I really can't imagine. Well, it's of no importance. Shouldn't we continue to look for those kittens? <laughs> ah, 
Here is one of your kittens, at least. Oh, Muppet! You are covered in flour from ears to tail. Oh, Mother, Mother! There's been an old woman rat in the kitchen, and she's stolen some of the dough. Which way did she go? I didn't see. There, there. You keep with us, my dear, where you'll be safe. Aha! Oh, Mother, Mother, there's been an old man rat in the dairy. A dreadful, enormous, big rat, Mother. He's stolen a pat of butter and a rolling pin. A rolling pin and butter? Oh, my poor son, Thomas. A rolling pin? Did we not hear a roly-poly noise in the attic? Come, Tabitha, we must investigate further. Oh, my goodness. This is serious, Tabitha. We must send for John Joyner at once with a saw. Aye, sounds like rats to me. Arr, can you abide them? I'll soon find the wee beggars, no doubt. Oh, I do hope Mr. Joyner makes haste. That strange noise in the attic makes me most anxious. Miss Potter's new barrow has come in handy. She'll no mind me borrowing it. Oh, thank goodness. That must be him now. Good afternoon, Mrs. Twitchett. Oh, Mr. Joyner, the very strangest sounds. I dread to think. Come along, Mr. Joyner, this way. Follow me quickly now. His tail is sticking out. You didn't fetch enough dough. I fetched as much as I could carry. <laughs> I do not think... I do not think it will be a good pudding. It smells sooty. That's all very well. <gasps> <laughs> We are discovered and interrupted, Anna Maria. Let us collect our property and other people's and depart at once. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I fear that we shall be obliged to leave this pudding. Do hurry, Mr. Joyner. I am persuaded that the knots would have proved indigestible. Whatever you may urge to the contrary. Come away at once and help me tie up some mutton bone. I've half a smoked ham hidden in the chimney. There's not a moment to lose. What a splendid piece of good fortune, Anna Maria. I fear it might be a little too heavy for me. <gasps> ah, well, as you wish. Just have a wee sniff around in my way down, but I doubt they'll be back. <laughs> there might just have been room for the pudding. I notice that you're not pushing the barrow. <laughs> you might need another opinion if you were. Get along, Anna Maria. You're definitely slowing down. When 
I was going to the post that afternoon, I saw Mr. Samuel Whiskers and his wife on the run with a little wheelbarrow that looked very like mine. I'm sure I didn't give them leave to borrow my wheelbarrow. Oh. Oh. I hope this isn't a wild goose chase. I presume you have a destination in mind? Yes, Farmer Potatoes, top of the hay barn. I do hope Anna Maria isn't going to be fussing about household matters long. She must be aware that it... Ah! Ooh, ooh. Ooh, you quite startled me, Anna Maria. Have a care. Well, never mind that now. Be quick, Samuel, and tie the bundles on, or Miss Potter will be missing the barrow. All away, Anna Maria. Uh, have you um, given any thought to um, supper? Thank you, Mr. Joyner. I'm sure your efficiency has been a great comfort to Mrs. Twitchit. You would be extremely welcome to stay for dinner. We are to have a bag pudding, as you see. Isn't Aunt Ruby clever, Mr. Joyner? She's added currants, and you really can't tell them from the smuts. Oh, uh, an, an invitation much appreciated, but uh, well, I've just finished making a wheelbarrow for Miss Potter, and now she's ordered two hen coops, so I'll take my leave. After that, there were no more rats for a long time at Tabitha Twitchit's. Tom Kitten has always been afraid of rats. He never durst face anything that is bigger than a mouse. <laughs> 